Cougan Cassius IFL TV, MTK Global. You alright? Yeah. We're at the final press conference here for British Beef. I'm joined by Lawrence O'Coley. Yeah. Hi. Oh. I'm good, you know. Good little press conference. Good turnout. Very um, good turnout, yeah. Yeah, which is, um, which is impressive on, um, it's just humbling as well, so I'm happy with that. Um, Isaac Chamberlain said you talk too much in that press conference. Mm. I'm a talkative person. It's who I am. I'm sorry. I ramble, I, whatever, but at the same time, I punch hard. So, yeah, we'll find out. You said in that press conference, you felt that, you know, Ted Bamley as well <laughs> kind of used the word, you know, they're lying to you yeah. about... Explain that. Explain that, what you were saying. God, where to start? Um, I'm not a psychiatrist. I can't psychoanalyse him from top to bottom, but I've seen him on more occasions than the press conference and the stuff you've seen. I've seen him when there's no friends about. I've seen him at Sky Sports when we were doing Toll to Toll and all that other stuff. So I know what he's at when no one's around. I know what he's at when people are around. I also know what the sort of things they say to him because I've heard it. And I know the mentality. They see that he's not a very confident person within himself. So what they have to do is pump into him confidence via insulting the other person. You, you know that kind of, you, you know what I'm talking about. So it's like, listen, Lawrence is slow. Oh, Lawrence will get tired. Lawrence can't do the rounds. Lawrence has a bitch of it. It's constantly about what. Are you saying the emphasis is on you rather than it should be on him? Yeah, as opposed to, they say to me, Lawrence, you're too strong. Lawrence, you're too smart. Lawrence, do you get what I'm coming from? And I, so it's the difference between losing mentality, pumping him in, oh, listen, like, Lawrence is rubbish, versus mine. Isaac is good, you better train yourself to fight a very good fighter for 10 hard rounds. Okay. What did you make but of... Ted, sorry, just sorry, on a quick one. Um, Ted said in an interview that if Isaac doesn't stop me, he's going to quit boxing. Then he I saw that him. To you, didn't he, he said that to you. We were together. Yeah. Um, I, was, I was in Brixton. We put the clip on, out, yeah. Yeah, and um, I gave him an opportunity at the um, public workout. We had to do a weigh in where he saw, okay, wow, Lawrence is on weight already. I said to him, you're a grown up. You know what I mean? You don't need to um, be doing, you know, the bravado. That you have an opportunity to just scrap that whole notion of quitting boxing you've got good fighters he's like did I say it did I say it yeah, I meant it I'll quit boxing so he said it again and I have to, I have to take him for it now now listen I'm, I think Isaac's a good guy I might just do it for Ted you might just I might just I might have to just beat Isaac the way I'm going to beat him for Ted that's it for Ted to quit boxing just for Ted I won't say right but just for Ted <laughs> uh, what did you make of that ad that was put in the, the Gazette, I believe. Yeah. I, mean, I, I don't get that Gazette where I live. I yeah, live in yeah, Essex, yeah. Mm -hmm. but I didn't see it, but I saw the Yeah, the yeah no, I thought it was a good one. Um, I actually laughed when I saw it, reading it. I don't think Isaac has the mental capacity to create that himself, but he's got a good team around him, so it was a fantastic move, and I liked it. But did you like my burger, man? I, I don't know, whatever. It's, it's, it's all just hype. And then they were going to get in the ring, and I'm going to punch him. He's going to punch me. We're going to see who manages to last and who doesn't. A lot of people are split opinions, which you can appreciate yeah. within the boxing world. The fans, everyone, kind of everyone I'm speaking to is kind of swaying literally 50-50 yeah, yeah, towards yeah, yeah. one I've, or the I've other. Been hearing that. But, I mean, are we to expect a kind of three-round shootout in this, or not necessarily? It depends. If as it comes to a three-round shootout, that's exactly what's going to happen. If not, then it, like, I, I really and truly, it just depends on how I feel. Because I've got a game plan, and my game plan is based around what I know of Isaac as a person, so far what he's shown in all of these fights when it got hard. However, I might say to myself on the way on the ring, oh fuck, I'm just gonna throw haymakers. Brian, shut up. Let's go and have a tear up. But you know, um, in all honesty, is where it is. Isaac's a human being, he's no better than a lot of the fuck guys that have boxed already, and he's gonna find out that I'm better than everyone that he's ever been in the ring with. Is his shoulder something you will target? Shoulder? The one he dislocated. Did he dislocate his shoulder? Yeah. Which one? <laughs> I don't know which one it was. Shit. Again, it's Roddy Camacho. Haven't you watched the fight? Is that what happened in that fight? He's... Oh, maybe. Maybe, maybe not. Who knows, man? Who knows? Who knows? All I'm saying is we're both talking about doing whatever it takes to win. We'll see who's ready, really ready to go all the way. And who isn't. Let's see who even needs to. Eddie Hearn said... It see you later, Ted. 
Ted. Oh, he's going. Oh, then they're going, Karen. Oh, did he hear you? No, I don't know. There. Um, feel free if you want to say bye to him. No, no, you saw. You saw. Yeah. Um, Eddie Hearn said he was surprised that, you know, not surprised, but he got it wrong. You know, so by saying this was a York Hall fight, 8,000 plus people at the O2, and that must, you know, give you a little bit of a, you know. Only after I've won. Right now, it's just pressure. After I've won, then it's like, yeah, I'll be walking around the O2, high fiving everyone. And what we need to realise is that a lot of Isaac supporters are only supporting him because he is from South, as opposed to him being from South. Does that, does that mean, let me explain that further. Isaac has had several fights, yeah, where no one's really showed up, no one's come to all this stuff and high fived him. However, now it's a big stage, everyone's around him. Me, it's the same exact group of people that you've seen every single time in the Penny Boys, etc. So I'm going to walk around the altar after beating him, shaking hands with all my new, new supporters. Mm. Well, you made some comments about obviously the sparring he's had with you know, guys like Yusek and yeah. that, and you don't believe that that's really going to come into fruition on Saturday night to help him? Not in a fight against me, but what I think it will help is with his defensive um, attributes because when you're, when you're in there against a high quality fighter, you have to learn how to dodge, dive and, you know, defend. So I think it's going to help him in sense of um, knowing how to survive, when to grab, when to <laughs> whatever. But in terms of winning, it's different being a sparring partner and different being a winner. So it's good learning, you know, all that stuff, but then to implement his game plan on me, we'll, we'll have some fun. Okay, have you got anything you'd like to add? Thank you so much for everyone that support him. As I'm walking around and people are stopping me, the message I'm getting is crazy because this same kind of fight I could have had with no, no one, no one, no one, no one caring. So it's, it's humbling and blessing. And um, I'm going to do some damage on Saturday. That's it. Because I want to look back at this video on Sunday and all the stuff that I've said, all the stuff that he said, one of us is going to look back happy and others going to look back sad. So I need to do whatever it takes to make sure I'm happy on Sunday. Not long to find out. That's Lawrence right. Coley, thank you very much for the to Eiffel TV and we'll catch up with you over the weekend. Cool. Best of luck. Thanks. Yeah.